Hello and good morning. Welcome to the new format of the CSA and SLIB class. No one could have anticipated this. I mean, I thought there was a possibility, I guess, but not to this extent. So that said, here's some things as we go forward. All of the individuals that I talked to about getting the correct format for the internal assessment never turned that in or thought about turning it in and never did. I've got two people that are done with that. I've individually emailed the three people that need to get that done. So get that done, right? Um, aside from that, we've got a very interesting circumstance because you have the opportunity to improve your grade. You also have the opportunity to study for the CSA class or the CSA test, which will now all be multiple choice online, right? And the way I'm going to do that is there's really mm, there's three, I guess, three options. Number one, I want to improve my grade. Great. So I'm going to open up all the AP uh, multiple choice tests and free response tests in the AP classroom because AP now says I can do that. I have no idea if you have to download the thing that doesn't allow you to look things up or not. I have no idea. Um, so that's the first one. The second one is I just want learning enhancements or learning opportunities, to which I will say I will open up all the tests on the AP classroom, and you're more than welcome to do that. And the third one is I just want to study for the AP exam. Great. I'm going to open up all the uh, tests on the AP classroom. Now, I as I find more resources, there's there's a, a the AP is putting together a review, and I'm going to post the review of where that review is and things along those lines, and you're more than welcome to field questions, and we can look at questions and things along uh, where that's concerned. But essentially, we're going to take the heck out of those tests because SL isn't sitting for testing this year, right? So all the SL tests that we were going to take all right, uh, because of the fact that we no longer have to do that. And now uh, I might make some of them accessible electronically, maybe, but I'd rather focus on the CSA tests. So once again, you've got three different options. Option number one, I want to study for the CSA AP exam. Option number two, I want to increase my grade. Option number three, I want learning opportunities. And all three of those opportunities look like me opening up all the chapters or sections one through seven on the AP uh, um, website, right? The AP classroom website. But what I'll also do is I, on the data section in our um, in the CSA SL class, the Google Classroom, I will put the communication from AP in there. So you're able to kind of look at how they've communicated and look at the information they've given. So I'm not summarizing the information and something's getting lost in the summar uh, summarization. It's simply what they gave you, right? Okay, so um, welcome to class. Um, I will be communicating. Uh, I'll have classroom hours and different things along those lines uh, where it's, I'm always gonna be able to respond to my email as long as it's fl not flooded. Some people are taking the stance of, I'm going to wait until my office hours to respond. And uh, I'm not really there, but if it's a highly complex question, I'll wait till the next day to do it if I have to sit in front of my computer, if it's a way that I can respond real quick. I've got my um, school email pumped through my phone, so you're more than welcome to ask me questions as we go along. Didn't expect this year to end this way. That's okay. So uh, thank you very much for your time. Uh, expect to be added to the classroom, the Google Classroom. Uh, uh, it's, I would tell people by the time you read this, you've already been in the Google Classroom, but some people have been watching my videos before because it's, they're posted to YouTube. So you already may be added. 
you might be waiting to be added. So either way, thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, email me at my school email and we'll go from there. And if you ever wonder what my morning office looks like, this is the time of day where my dog sits right behind me, right there. And she does this every single morning and looks out the window until it's time to now shift and then sleep on the couch, which is behind me. Very difficult day for her. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. And um, I hope everybody's doing really well, right? Okay.